Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and mom is on the show today, Ingrid. Hi. And we're baking up a storm again. We're baking some oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. Mm. This is mom's recipe. Yeah. So here we go. What do we do? First of all, um, we have room temperature butter. How much? Uh, one cup. And that's going in here? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're using the paddle attachment today for our standing mixer. You can do these by hand, but uh, it's a heck of a lot easier using a nice mixer. So if you don't have one and you'd like to get one, make sure you check out our website at shop.cookingwithkimberly.com and get yourself one. Mm -hmm. They're very handy to have. So oh. we're going to cream the butter. Cream the butter till it's light and fluffy and smooth. Uh, we have one cup of sugar. Of white sugar? Yes. Okay. One cup of brown sugar. Okay. And we're going to just um, beat that till it's light and fluffy. Okay, so you're going to cream the sugar together mm -hmm. with the butter. Okay. It's going to be light and fluffy. It's going to be lighter and a little bit lighter in color and it's, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to be all mixed through. So make sure you scrape down the sides of the bowl to incorporate everything. Mm -hmm. And? Um, we're going to, we have two eggs. Okay. Um, we're just going to add the vanilla to the eggs, half a teaspoon. Okay. Now this is a really tasty uh, vanilla. Yes. This is an Epicurial's pure, pure bourbon uh, vanilla extract. Make sure you're using pure vanilla extracts and not the artificial because those aren't really vanilla. They're actually byproduct of making paper and they're not good for you. So use the real, real stuff. Yes. And since um, our uh, pure vanilla is has such a lovely and deep flavor, I always cut back on the amount that I put in because mm -hmm. it's really not necessary. And it's quite concentrated when you're using the real right. stuff. So okay. there's no point. I mean, it, it actually can overpower a recipe if you add too much. Yes. OK, so in go two eggs and a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay. And we're going to cream that until it's light and fluffy. Okay. So the recipe calls for two cups and four tablespoons of flour. So what I'm going to do is take about half a cup here and I'm going to mix the uh, one teaspoon of uh, baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a dash of salt. Okay. I'm just going to mix it into the first cup of flour that goes in. Now, the dash of salt that always goes into your desserts, you might wonder why that goes in. It actually helps accentuate the flavors of your dessert, mm -hmm. and it actually brings out the sweetness too. Mm -hmm. It kind of balances everything and, and makes it right. So don't be afraid to add a little bit of salt. Just a pinch. You don't need a lot, but right. it does make a difference. It, it is important. Okay, and at the same time, I'm going to add about a teaspoon of lemon zest. Now, that's mom's trick. <laughs> I, I, I don't know of anyone else that does that for their chocolate chip cookies, but mom I does like that. it. So, <laughs> that's how she does it. That's how we so do it. in goes the first bit of flour. Now, just stir that to combine. Make sure you're not turning that up too high or the flour will go <clears throat> in your kitchen. And you'll be really upset. <laughs> so, just stir it to combine and then add more flour as it is mixing right. through. So, I have measured out the two cups and four tablespoons of flour. So I'm just going to add another cup here now. Okay. The rest of the flour in. Now the rest of the flour can go in now that you've combined some already. Mm -hmm. You're good. Okay. Stir that to combine everything evenly. Mm -hmm. Make sure you scrape down the sides of your bowl too looks so good. Yes, I don't like to over mix it, so once I don't see any more flour showing, I kind of just stop then. So, and here we have half a cup of oatmeal. Is this quick oats? Yes. Quick oats. Now, if you wanted to, you could use the rolled oats. Absolutely. But the quick oats seem to, you know, absorb a little better and quicker. Right. If you use the um, rolled oats, uh, the, um, the one, not the quick one, uh, you would probably like to add that before you add the flour, so it has a chance to, to soften, soften up mm -hmm. in the egg and so Sure. On. So, yeah, but it's perfectly fine. Either way. Yeah. I'm just going to give this a nice stir. Now, the, we had an amazing tailgating dinner today. Mm -hmm. We had we pizza ever. and we had these 
spicy mango Thai chicken wings that were ridiculous. Check out that recipe. Awesome. And this is going to finish off our beautiful tailgate. Mm -hmm. It's a nice little touch to have homemade cookies along with, you know, fruit tray or something like that for people. You know, mm -hmm. nice. Beautiful. Not quite the way I want it. I'm going to add a little bit. Now, that. here's what makes these cookies awesome. <laughs> now, of course, the chocolate chips, but not just any chocolate chips. We like to use the mini chocolate chips. I think that these are a little like less waxy tasting than the regular chips and they're tiny. Look at that. So they're really nice for it. You can even use them for shortbreads, which mom does all the time. And they just are such a nice little addition. Sometimes the chocolate in a, in a chocolate chip cookie is just a little too big of a chunk for me. And a little artificial taste. Yep. Yeah. Waxy, right. I think. Like yeah. not. Yeah. Yeah, These it, ones are nice and milk chocolatey and, and tiny so that you really can, you know, enjoy I them. I choose to use a half a cup of um, these little chocolate chips for this amount of dough. But you could add any amount you want. You could go up to a cup and a half if you wow. so desire. <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. A uh, lot of people just eat those cookies for the chocolate. So, That's true. Yeah. But I don't like to over, over Me neither. It. It, it ruins the cookie for me if it's just too but much. Just a little something to look forward to. Yep. <laughs> so just stir those through and as soon as those are kind of evenly dispersed, we're ready to go. So we preheated the oven to 375 degrees right now and we've got just getting our baking sheets ready. I have these awesome silicone mats. We like to use silicone mats instead of parchment or, you know, it just helps the cookies not stick. Anything for that matter, not just cookies, but breads and, you know, chicken even and fish, french fries you can do. But I've got these awesome ones. These are from Bake It Fun. You can check them out online at bakeitfun.com and they also sell them on Amazon. They have a blue one and a red one. That's what they look like. I love them. And the coolest thing about them is they have those markings for the cookies. And they have concentric circles so that you can measure how large you want to put your cookie. And they've got a ruler on each side. How cool is that? Very, very cool. So these are BPA free. They are FDA approved and they're German food grade quality. So pretty excited about these. They're pretty. They're beautiful. <laughs> they really are. They're cool. Okay. So this is my favorite part is the dough. I prefer the dough better than I prefer cookies and that's on the regular. So mom has stopped yelling at me for stealing dough because she knows I like it the best. <laughs> she likes it better than the cookies. So sometimes we have mm. somewhat fewer cookies hey. that we bake. <laughs> you can't go. You have to let people mm. enjoy what they enjoy. It's good too. It's so good. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm making a uh, little pieces of dough for the cookies about just a little bit smaller than a golf ball mm, so good and then later on i will flatten them out slightly with a, a fork and for me it's just easier you can use two spoons to scoop it out or you can use one tablespoon to scoop out the amount you want whatever you like so here you go. That's what the dough looks like. It's awesome. Um, this is great also. You can put this in ice cream, like mm -hmm. chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, mm -hmm. the whole nine. So mom's just following the guide on the silicone mat and putting them where the circles are. Mm -hmm. So easy. I love this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're just doing 12 cookies to each sheet. And um, I'm going to just make a little depression with the fork, okay. uh, dinner fork. So look at that, how easy that is, right in the circles. So simple. Well, then you know they're not going to just um, mush them together right. because they're far enough apart. So I'm just cutting like that halfway? Mm -hmm. Halfway? Mm -hmm. Okay. Which takes you to the first ring. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So that way you can kind of keep a good gauge of things. Uh, like it'll be this. more uniform. It's a great idea. There you go. Perfect cookies. Like, you can't get any more perfect than that. Right? Mm -hmm. Also, if you've never thought of it, you can make dough ahead of time and freeze it mm -hmm. or put it in the refrigerator for future use during the week. Mm -hmm. And it's already made and ready to go. You can cut off just as many little pieces of, of dough as you want for as many cookies as you want to make that thing. Yeah, okay. just roll it up into a little cylinder and then cut off however many cookies you're going to make. 
Mm. And then you have fresh cookies several times for the week, and you don't have to uh, mix them all up mm. separately. This is a good recipe. <laughs> mm. oh, it's a really good recipe. I love it. So good. Mm. And it, it can act as a nice basic recipe, too. To uh, You can use other things besides chocolate chips. If you don't want to add chocolate chips, you can add other stuff. <laughs> like what? Well, you could add uh, those butterscotch chips. Mm -hmm. uh, White could, chocolate? Mm -hmm. uh, you could make them a little flatter than what we have and make little sandwich cookies mm -hmm. with jam in between. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all kinds of uh, You could cut off options. your favorite chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. mm. So tasty. This dough is outrageous good. Mm. <laughs> And with, since I like eating just the dough, those small chips are so much nicer. Mmm. I can just take over the whole cookie. Oh, that's my favorite. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And these, um, these uh, little mats, the silicone mats, um, are made by what company? Yes. Bake It Fun. Bake It Fun. And they've done a great job because you have measurements around the outside. And really great. It's reinforced. It's like weaved. You can see mm -hmm. that it's, um, it's it's a really high quality one. Yes. I'm really excited about it. Beautiful. So these guys, I already put a tray in. They're going for eight. Well, we're going to start at eight. It'll probably take about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. But we want to check it at eight. Mm -hmm. You're looking for them to be golden and a little bit browned around the outside. Mm -hmm. Mom just took my dough. <laughs> <laughs> I snuck it. Don't believe the hype. Mom likes it too. <laughs> Anyhow, you'll see us in about eight minutes. So I've convinced mom to put some raw dough balls into a bag for me for the freezer. So I can grab them whenever I want to. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I see how you do. See how my mom does? One more. And I'll be happy. Don't be giving me a skimpy one. <laughs> Mom! Here, give me go. this one. There it is. No, I don't want that one. <laughs> okay, then I guess I'll end up that one. You're skimpy, wimpy. Mm -hmm. All right, our first tray should be ready. Well, they're starting to brown around the edges. Mom, mm -hmm. you happy? Yes. All right, so I'm gonna let them sit here for at least a minute or two before I remove them to a cooling rack. So make sure you have that. But they're easily gonna slide off of here with this silicone mat. Oh yeah. Fabulous. And mom's just getting the rest of her um, batch prepared, already rolled in the, in her bowl. Yeah. And then we can just put them on here as soon as we're ready. So how many does this batch make? Uh, I think about three dozen. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, give or take a few. I think There's that's a little bit more. Two. Maybe three and a half. Maybe, yeah. Because we have two trays, and that looks like a little bit more than one. Mm -hmm. So about three and a half dozen cookies. However, you already took a whole bunch. Oh, that's right. I had Plus, that. we so, each ate two. <laughs> so, so it's like four, four. dozen. <laughs> it's about four dozen cookies. <laughs> so you're only going to see three, but it's about four. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> So we're just gonna move these off the tray. Oh, and it's just look it. I, I just push them. them up. Look, just pick them up like that. They don't need any help. Beautiful. That's the beauty of these lovely um, uh, silicone mats. Fantastic. Look how easy that is. I mean, seriously. It's, it's, and look how clean it is. Yeah, it's ready for the next ones to go on. It's just clean. And what mom does is she takes the silicone mat off. And just kind of shakes it a little bit to cool it down mm -hmm. slightly before we put the fresh cookie dough on there yeah. so it doesn't just melt before yeah. you throw it in exactly well, there you go and it's it's easy to touch like it's not oh real no hot. it's fun you can this is hot you yes. don't want to touch that but you can easily pick the mats yep. up and cool them up so let me get these prepared mm -hmm. on here mm -hmm. Man, they just come off beautiful. These mm -hmm. are really nice, browned beautifully, mm -hmm. nice and crunchy. Gorgeous. They are very gorgeous. So what did we get for four dozen? I think oh. it's four and a half mm -hmm. because after we account for everything we ate mm -hmm. already. And these mats are super clean, fresh yes. and clean like you didn't even use it. Right? 
cool. So after this, you're just going to rinse it in hot soapy water, let it air dry, mm -hmm. and you can either store it flat like it is, or roll it into a cylinder and uh, store it that way. And it's ready for your next occasion. Beautiful baking. There, beautiful, mommy. Done. Let's get rid of these here. Done and done. So here you go. We've got a gorgeous cooling rack full of mom's oatmeal chocolate chip cookies. You're gonna love these. Awesome. So let's try one with some tea, mm -hmm. yeah? Sure. Here, grab one. Thanks, okay. Something like that. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers, mommy. Mmm. <laughs> First off, mm -hmm. they're crunchy on the outside and tender and soft on the inside. Mmm. Good recipe. Look at that. Mmm. Little tiny chocolate chips in there. Just the perfect amount to give you that sweetness and chocolatey mm -hmm. craving. Um, crave Buster. Mmm. I like them when they're crunchy on the outside. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very good cookie, Mom. Thank you. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Great for after dinner. Mm -hmm. They would be nice for um, ice cream sandwiches. They would do mm -hmm. very well. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And I don't really taste the lemon zest. Like, it doesn't pop out at you. But it must give a nice little hint. Mm, well, I think it kind of supports the sugar. Mm. Mm. I like it. Yeah. Very nice and not too sweet. I like that. Mm. They melted out nicely, just like you want them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So serve, you know, some milk up, some tea, some coffee, mm -hmm. some fresh fruit. You got a spread. I like that. You make cookies. Mm -hmm. These would be awesome for when the kids just come home from school. Yeah. They'd be so excited to see these on the table or smell them when they walked in. That's what my mom used to do. I'd come home from school and there'd always be something really awesome to eat that she baked lovingly. And Dad, he was always excited when he could smell something. Well, he was a snacker, a mad crazy snacker. He couldn't just eat one. He'd eat like eight or nine or ten of them. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he liked. Anyhow, so that's how you do it, folks. I hope that you check out these awesome mats from bakeitfun.com. These are fantastic. Again, they're also on Amazon. You can find them. They're really helpful with those circles and the measuring. I can't wait to use it for like phyllo and stuff with the measurements. Mm -hmm. Puff pastry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, puff pastry. Anyhow. Check out mom's website at ingridturnertoday.com. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly, and you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe, interact with us, and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye. Bye-bye.